Desert Owl Crafting. I'm Christy. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Today is Wednesday, October 12th. This month is flying by already. It's just unbelievable to me. I hope this finds all of you well. Thank you so much for spending time out of your day with me. A massive thank you to all my subscribers and to my new subscribers. I appreciate you watching my videos so much. You just, you have no idea. Thank you for spending your time with me. I love your comments too. Your comments are great. So please keep leaving me some comments down below on what you think. If you have any comments, ideas, suggestions, companies you think I should uh, give a try, send me an email. My email address is brand new because my other one got hacked last week or crashed. I don't know. I still can't get into it. So there is a new email down below. And let's see, what else? I think that's about it. If you could please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on the video, that would be terrific. Thank you. Now today, I'm so excited to bring you this. I ordered this back in August on a pre-order. Dreamer Designs has come out with a brand new upgraded diamond painting. They have upgraded their toolkits. They have changed their boxes. They have improved their canvas, and I'm dying to take a look. So I did pull out the toolkit because I couldn't wait. I had to look, and I was not able to get the toolkit back in the box without squishing the diamond painting. So here's the toolkit, and we'll take a look at that in just a minute. So here's the box. They are a premium diamond painting company. They do have a special right now. If you are new to new to Dreamer Designs, you can go to their website. They have buy one, get one 50% off. They have just a massive selection of Halloween diamond painting kits if you enjoy that. Um, and they're coming out with new ones, it seems like, every day. Their landscapes are gorgeous. Their diamond paintings are really, really pretty. They license all their artists so um, there is no stolen art with Dreamer Designs at all. They come with a great box that is packed into a brown cardboard box so they're protected. has a carry handle on the side. It answers questions like why diamond paint. It gives you the contents of the box. I have to turn it sideways because it's kind of big. How to diamond paint right on the box. It's so easy to do. Over here is a QR code for 15% off. You can always find some kind of discount code. Join their rewards program for your purchases. You earn points. You can use the points to get discounts and free shipping and all kinds of stuff like that. Here's the features of the diamond painting. Sparkly diamonds with AB accents. This diamond painting comes with seven ABs. And in case you don't know, an AB drill is a drill that has a special coating on it, and it stands for Aurora Borealis, and it gives the diamonds just a multicolor kind of shimmer to them without taking away the color of the diamond. It just enhances them. They're legally licensed images. Full drill diamonds fill the entire canvas. Soft cam fabric canvas with poured glue, and they have changed that. Lifetime warranty with uh-oh insurance which means if you spill your drills, get a hold of them, they'll send you more drills. On the end of the box, they have a picture of what the diamond painting is. I saw this diamond painting and I fell in love immediately. I believe those are pansies. Um, it's a licensed picture from Alyssa Car Carey, is the artist. So full of color. 50 by 40 centimeters, which is 19.7 inches by 15.7. So just a little bit under 20 by 16. Let's take a look inside. They package their diamond painting so beautifully. Let's see if I can get this up just a little bit more. There we go. We can fit it in now. 
Okay, so it's in a very nice reusable bag. You can use this to store your diamond paintings. You can use this to store your cross stitch for that, for goodness sakes. They're so reusable. I, um, remember I did the review last week of these storage bags? Well, this is so similar. It's not as big, but you could store your cross stitch, your diamond paint in them, in them, gather up the top of it, hang it off a hanger in your closet, and they'll be nice and safe. They're trademark purple. It's just a nice reusable bag. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't have to go to waste at all. It's, you know, kind of a soft fabric -y kind of material. Their diamond paintings come beautifully wrapped in a purple ribbon. And one thing that's new is they would roll them on a foam tube. No more foam tube. They have done away with that. Their toolkits, though, the big changes in their toolkits. So let's take a look at the diamond painting first, and then we're going to go look at the toolkit. And I've got one of their old toolkits here, so we can do a comparison on what, what changed. Okay, so let's start with looking at the canvas. there's enough room. Now one of the things that they say is new with these is it's a self-flattening canvas. It's very very soft. It has the scalloped edges with the little holes to prevent fraying. It is a sparkly canvas. I don't know if you can tell that little sparkle there. This painting has 45 different colors. Look at the colors on this diamond painting. It's got their logo, their uh, motto at the bottom, paint with passion. Let's see if I can get this just a little higher. Okay. And let's take a look at this. A New Day by Alyssa Carey. I'm going to try. It's supposed to self flatten. If I wanted to leave it sitting here for a few minutes, it would totally flatten it out. But for the sake of this video, I'd like to try to get it a little flatter first. You can do this, roll it backwards with a poured grill, uh, poured drill, uh, glue, poured glue, sorry, canvas, but don't do it with double sided tape canvas. That will ruin it. Okay, there. It's nice and flat. Let's check the glue on it. Very sticky. Here's one thing I noticed straight away too. Is you know how usually with a diamond painting, you have got a rim, a frame of glue on a poured glue canvas all the way around. It can stick out that far. It can stick out that far. A lot of people use washi tape, painters tape, frog tape, and do a frame all the way around the edge so that you don't keep getting your hands stuck in in the glue when you're diamond painting. Well, look what they've done. They don't bring the dime, the drills all the way up to the edge anymore. They leave a line all the way around the canvas, and then what that does is you don't have the glue problem overlap anymore. The glue only comes to the edge of the canvas. So you don't need washi tape. You've got it right there. Having this rim too, I think, myself, is really great if you wanted to mat your diamond painting before you framed it. You've got just that little bit of an edge there. Look at the colors in this picture. Oh my goodness. I love these colors. This is so pretty. So pretty. So what else we have on this canvas? Oh my goodness. I could sit here and just stare at these pictures. I knew I would love it when I saw the picture of it. You have a legend on both sides very important. Having a legend on both sides. Diamond painting is so easy. You've got the number of your color, which we'll see in a minute. Are you going to focus on me here? I think I might need to bring it down. I apologize. I've been having massive camera issues and I think I have to send the new one back. Let's try this. Can we see that a little better? Okay. So for instance, number 39, 
that will be the number on your bag of drills. The symbol on the drill field is M. That is an AB, AB07. That is its color. But these other ones that aren't ABs, that was a bad choice. Let's go with K. Number 19. The drill says number 19. On the drill field, it'll be K, and it's DMC code 819. So if you needed to get replacement drills and you didn't want to contact the company, that's the color. If you save your drills for future projects, like I do with my Heaven and Earth designs, you can categorize them and store them by DMC color. Up at the top, we have a picture of the diamond painting. The name of the painting, the artist's name, and the size. Over here is all their social media webs, uh, website, all their social media channels. Gosh, I'm sorry, I just cannot talk to you. Now when we look at the drill field, it is super clear. There's no little training wheels, but if you notice, there is like, you know, little circles of lighterness there, which is just fine. Then they've got the background color that extends all the way over, so you don't have any white showing or anything when you put your drill down. And what comes inside, too, are instructions on how to diamond paint. Uh, thanking you for your purchase. Tips and tricks. Again, instructions on how to diamond paint. Another QR code for 15% off. Don't ever pay full price. You can always find, you can go to uh, Google, um, whatever company it is, Dreamer Designs promo codes and a list will come up for you never ever pay full price if you don't have to I say for anything and then on the back it comes and talks about their lifetime warranty here's what's different before these came out you would get a strip of stickers with all the the drill numbers their symbols and their DMC codes on them but that's all you got was a long strip with these and there's a bunch of blanks too that I would save maybe use them for something else but now they give you this this has a sticker for dreamer designs you have a beautiful sticker here with your diamond painting picture on it all the details on it you can put a start and end date perfect for your diamond painting log book some people even make needle minders and magnets out of these. You've got stickers with square drills, diamonds, round drills, and I love diamond painting. These are all stickers that you can take off. So this is new. This is great. Very, very similar to Diamond Art Club when it comes to this, because they do this too. I'm so glad they decided to add this to their diamond paintings. Isn't that just a pretty picture? Okay, now I'm going to just push this up for a minute so we can look at the drills. And we got seven ABs in here, and I see some right away. Let's take a look at those. Oh, wow, look at the green. Can you see the sparkle? I'm going to go down a little lower. I'm thinking maybe too much light is taken away. That AB sparkle. The pinks are ABs. They have just a little bit of a coating on it so you can see. So we've got medium pink, light pink, green, orange. Beautiful, beautiful purple. Yeah, you can see that AB coating a little bit better here. That really does sparkle. Wow, so pretty. That's kind of a, a dark turquoise, a light turquoise orange. I call that marigold. Oh dear. 
I just realized that the, the glare is just terrific. I apologize. Let me see if that helps. Okay, let's see if that helps. Maybe too much light I have. Okay, this is a really light, light green, light blue, a dark blue, light pink, dark green. Wow, that is a fuchsia, if there ever was one. Brown, orange, a lighter brown, uh, kind of rust, I guess, dark fuchsia. Green, more of an olive green, a dark like forest green. Wow, beautiful purple. Yep, that's 550 purple. A light blue, a light purple, medium purple. Is that black? Yep, 310 black. Not very much. Yay! Look at all the purples. We've got four different shades of purple in a row here. And I can't tell you what they are. That, I, I think, is like a, a mulberry color. And then we have, to finish it off, we have white ABs with a yellow hitchhiker in it, yellow ABs, more purple, a dark mauve, I would say, a light yellowy green, turquoise, teal, blue, more purple, and pink. So you do have to put these in another container. When you kit up is really just meaning when you get your diamond paint ready to paint and prepping your drills. Put them in a plastic bag with one of these labels on them so that you know uh, what color it is. Here on the back, it says this is color 01, GMC code 154. So when you empty this into your container or your bag and use this sticker, it says 1, GMC 154, and your symbol is going to be a left pointing little arrow. Okay, let's go back up again now. Very nice changes. Very nice changes. I really like that. I think this one is just going to be absolutely beautiful to do. I love the fact that now you get all these stickers. This will come in so handy. I will use every single one. Okay, now let's talk about the toolkits. So this is the new toolkit might be a little close here. Okay, this is the new toolkit. It's in the suede finish touch bag with the their stand mark or st st trademark purple, I guess, or stand their I can't talk today. I am so sorry. Their color. Their color purple. And this is their toolkit. So we have a whole lot of baggies which is what you could use to put your drills in with the stickers to get ready to diamond paint. I'm not going to count them, but trust me, there's a whole lot of baggies here. You get, this is new, you get a little, a little broom. So in case you spill your drills and you have to gather them all up into a pile to pick them up, there you go. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. You've got the logoed tweezers. They're pointy, but they're not the super, super, super pointy ones. Two diamond painting pens, and you ask, well, what's the difference? 
Well, here is your regular diamond painting pen. This has a plastic tip. It does, if my camera would work, have a hole in the top for you to put wax into. The reason for the plastic tip is on those AB drills I showed you, you don't want to scratch them. So you use this to pick them up with, with wax in there to put them on your diamond painting. Personally, I don't use this. I use tweezers for AB drills. It's just easy to grab them on the side and put them on. For me, personally. Do whatever you feel is right for you. So to go with those, we've got our little squishy cushions that you just slide on the bottom of the pen. You can do two on one, you can do one on one, just makes it easier and more comfortable to hold on to. And there you go. We've got two little containers of wax with their logo on them. Please remember when you're not using your wax to keep the lid on it so it doesn't dry out. And it does have plastic on both sides. Make sure you peel the plastic off. How many of us have made the mistake of trying to put our pen in the wax and wondering why none's coming off? Well, it's because the plastic was in the way. And this is how easy it is. You just stick it, stick it in the wax, give it a twist, and there you go. Your pen is loaded up. Now, I don't know how many times you'll have to do this before you have to do it again, but they give you plenty. So you should have enough. I always have extra left over for my diamond paintings. Then we have multi-placers. If you, if you don't want to do it one at a time, you can do it six at a time. You just would stick this in the glue. Usually I would use my finger or press it into the table and make it flat and then you can pick up, once you have your drills in a line, you can pick up six at a time and put them all down at once and boy it really speeds things up. It took me some practice to be able to multi-place and what helps with that if you're going to multi-place and this is a two-placer here so you can do two at a time I do believe that's a two-placer is this little guy right here so let's say you're multi-placing and you put some down and it's not quite straight it's kind of like cockeyed you just take this little baby squeegee is what I call it and just push your line into place and move on to the next. But this is new. Look at this tray. Dreamer Designs Purple logoed. Wow, this is a huge tray with dividers. Why? So that you can have more colors out than just one. You can do three colors at a time. You can do two colors at a time. It's all up to you. And how do you get them out without mixing them up? Well, this little end doesn't fold down. This little end lifts up. So you have a nice opening. You could pour this color into its container or baggie. Then lift up the divider and pour the next color into its container or baggie. And there you go. I call this like a little garage door. It's got little grips on it so you can feel it with your finger to take it out. Some trays you'll find big trays that have dividers. They will have a thing that you just pull down like that. But this one actually you can lift out. So I like that. I like that a lot. So this is their new toolkit. Let me show you what's changed. This is their old toolkit. It also came with the tweezers and the pens, including the plastic tip pen. It came with the little poofy cushion things. It 
came with the multi-placers and the wax and the plastic bags but what it did was it came with two trays two small trays so when you compare those small trays to this tray look at that size difference it's huge you one color at a time in these yeah it's great they got a funnel I love funnel trays one color at a time here up to three colors at a time and look how big it is so let's do just a let's see, where's my scissors let's do just a little example let's pick a color because I'm going to be working on this one so let's do pink I got some cross stitch scissors here gotta love these things that you get in kits right okay so that's number 31 on your picture pour some in the tray and then how do you do it you just kinda give it a little shake and then they all face up the right way not all of them but most of them you can either use your pen that you've put wax in like I did with this one pick it up and you're ready to go I don't know tweezers and me on rounds I use tweezers pretty much all the time for squares but you can do it you can pick them up with tweezers I might ping around shoot around the room a little bit but it can be done and then for a multi-placer it's just the one I used. Just for example, get the wax out, peel back that plastic. Okay. Push it into the plastic. You'll see how it went in there. I'll take my finger just push it down there more and then you've got a whole line of drills ready to put down at one time so if I wanted to really quickly just move these things out of the way let's find out where these go what color did I say this was? This is number 31. Okay, let's see. Where's number 31? That symbol will be number 2. symbol is number two. I don't know why my focus is so bad. I apologize. So let's see if we can find any number twos on here. Okay, I found some straight away. Let me go down close. So number two is right here so I would take this and there you go so I've got my other little pen I could just push that over into place and move on to the next and that's how you done with paint it's that easy Let's see, I'll do one more. That's four in a row there.
that one, those went down really nicely. And then if you want to do it with just one at a time, Upside down. Let me get the tweezers. Nothing's going easy for me today. Guys, let me get that out of the way. Okay, so that will go like that. Let's flip him around and just put him right there on that number two. So that's how easy diamond painting is. This canvas, this glue is just perfect. It's just a joy. I absolutely love it. I wish you could see the sparkle of that. I don't know why my light is so crazy bad today. But yeah, see how pretty that is? Imagine this whole canvas with the, all these beautiful flowers being filled in with these beautiful colors. Wow, I would like to thank Dreamer Designs for making the improvements that they have. I think what I'll do is if I can get my camera working a little bit better, I will do a whip and chat with this diamond painting since we've already started it. And um, probably Saturday maybe? Let's try that. Well, let's hope we can get the camera going right. But this is just beautiful. So those are the new changes in the Dreamer Design 2.0 is what I call it. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm sorry for the focus issues. I appreciate the time you've spent with me. Take care. Have a good, good day, good evening, and I'll see you soon. Bye.